We've seen her in hit movies like True Lies and A Fish Called Wanda. And now this famous actress and longtime supporter for the American Red Cross is here with some important information that will likely have us making sure that we're ready for the next emergency or disaster. Joining us live from Los Angeles is Jamie Lee Curtis. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here in the estrogen posse. <laughs> I love it, the lifetime reference. Yes, we are the estrogen posse. It's great to have you here. Now, apparently, a lot of us are not prepared in case of an emergency, I hear. A recent Red Cross survey found that 51% of Americans have experienced at least one emergency situation, but only about 12% of Americans are reasonably prepared for a disaster, as recommended by the Red Cross. Now, as an ambassador for the Red Cross, you are here with some tips to help us out, right, Jamie? Most people are not as prepared. We, we sit at home and cross our fingers and hope that something bad isn't going to happen to us or our family. And of course, things happen. Now, in an emergency situation, what does the Red Cross actually recommend that people do? The key thing that the Red Cross suggests is that you create a kit and a plan, a family plan for an emergency and a kit to help you survive the emergencies. Oh, okay. So if we have a kit, what items do we need to put in it? Most important is water. The Red Cross suggests you have a gallon of water per person per day and at least a week of water. That's a lot of water. Most people don't have it. You want a really good first aid kit because if there are minor injuries, you want to be able to take care of those so that you don't have to tax the hospitals because they're dealing with the bigger injuries. Of course, you want food, granola bars, juice for your children, for yourselves. You want to make sure you have something to eat. Very important, a radio. I like a hand crank radio that doesn't use batteries because that way, if the batteries go out, you can still use it. You want to be able to stay informed. Flashlights, very important. Medicines, prescriptions, have a week's worth in your backpack that's ready to go. Glasses and contact lenses, also very important. But you probably need to have an emergency plan too. Your household needs a plan? The plan is an evacuation plan in your home or a family plan of what we're going to do in an emergency. We've all heard predictions about the H1N1 or what people are calling the swine flu becoming more prevalent this fall. So can you give us some tips on what people can do to avoid getting sick in these situations? You know, I'm not here to tell you how to avoid getting sick. I mean, obviously washing uh -huh. your hands, you know, hot soapy water, <laughs> long time under the hot soapy water, right. very important. And, uh, you know, obviously, Trying to stay away from people with H1N1 is crucial. The reason that the Red Cross is getting involved is if you have it or someone in your family has it, you need to isolate for maybe two weeks. Uh -huh. So you want to make sure you have food and water and medicines and, you know, stuff to entertain kids all at your home. Again, that's great advice. Thank you so much for being here today. We certainly appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Now, if you want more information on getting everything that you need for your family in case of an emergency, again, just go to the redcross.org slash do more.